This section is on sedimentary processes. Recall your visit to the spectacular Navajo sandstone in Arizona. The sandstone had a very fine grain texture compared to the granite at Enchanted Rock. These grains were arranged in layers. Your guidebook told you that the sandstone is a type of sedimentary rock, but where did the sediment come from to form the sandstone? Sedimentary rocks form from the deposition of dissolved minerals, rock fragments, or the remains of organisms. Notice that the sedimentary rock in figures 4, 4a, and 4b have different textures. This is because they formed by two different processes. So even though they're both sedimentary rocks, they can look different if they're formed differently. One of those processes is called physical sedimentation. All rocks on Earth's surface is exposed to temperature changes, wind, flowing water, and gravity. Over time, these forces cause the rock to break down into tiny fragments called sediment. The breakdown of rock by physical processes is called physical weathering. Once sediment forms, it can be moved by wind or water. When the wind or water no longer has enough energy to keep the sediment moving, it deposits the sediment, as shown in figure 4a. When coarse grain sediments are deposited on steeper slopes, they can be cemented together to form rock like breccia. When fine grain sediments are deposited on gentler slopes, they form layers that are compacted and cemented together to form rocks like sandstone. Here we have figure 4a. Uh, you can see that on the right side, there's a picture of breccia and a picture of sandstone to show you what those differences look like. Uh, notice the grain sizes. The breccia has big chunks in it, so that's a coarser grain, and then the sandstone is much finer. Uh, figure 4a says physical sedimentation occurs when sediments formed by physical weathering are transported by wind or water and then deposited in another location. Breccia is made of large angular pebbles, while sandstone is made of small sand grains. They are both sedimentary rocks, but they look different and are formed differently. Chemical sedimentation. Rock can react chemically when exposed to air, water, soil, and organisms. Over time, these reactions cause the rock to break down. The breakdown of rock by chemical reactions is called chemical weathering. When water chemically weathers rock, the minerals and other substances in the rock break down to form dissolved sediment. In a process called dissolution, the solid rock material is broken down by the water. The result is that the water contains dissolved sediment that is too small to see. The dissolved sediment is transported when the water flows to other locations, as shown in figure 4b. So 4b has different types of chemical sedimentation. Um, chemical sedimentation is formed when it's weathered into dissolved sediment. This dissolved sediment is carried away by the water and then later deposited when minerals crystallize out of the water. Halite or rock salt and limestone are common chemical sedimentary rocks. So halite is a rock that is formed when the sodium chloride, the minerals, are dissolved out of the water and then the water evaporates and dries and it leaves behind just the mineral and then they can collect it to form the rock salt. And limestone is usually in ocean water. It's caused by tiny little ocean animals and organisms and they use it to build their shells and then when they die the shells settle to the floor and it eventually form those rock layers. So those are both chemical sedimentation. 
So rivers and streams carry the dissolved sediment downstream where it eventually ends up in lakes or in the ocean. One, one thing that can happen to the dissolved sediment is that marine organisms can use it to grow their shells. When those organisms die, their shells settle onto the sea floor where they form layers of sedimentary rock as certain types of limestone. Another thing that can happen to dissolved sediments is they can crystallize out of the water. When water evaporates from the surface of the lakes or the ocean, the water moves into the air, but the dissolved minerals remain in the water. Over time, the dissolved minerals can become so concentrated that they start to crystallize out of the water and form new rock, such as limestone. So here it talks about figure 4B again. It shows how halite, also known as rock salt, forms um, as the crystals come to, as the minerals come together and crystallize and the water evaporates. And those are the two types of sedimentation and how different types of sedimentary rocks can form.